Ah, this is where I need to go. Let's do it. Wall of Honor, huh? Memory of the Hurok agents who gave their lives to force known and unknown for the protection of the greater knowledge of all of them. Wonder why he's here. And not like in the front. Medic medical wing, okay. Fuck all this. Let's run all this shit over. Ooh, I'm a ghost. Another shelter. What's in here? What you got for me, game? that way. Just got turned around a little bit. Okay, that's locked. That door's fucked up. I don't have six. Okay. Oh, look. More fungus. That door's fine. I mean, this door's fucked up because of that reason, too? Mm, no, that door's just fucked up. Oh, this place has seen better days. Oh, the fungus guys. Lower levels, though. They're all coming. You don't sound very healthy. Alright, well, I'm gonna open this door and they're all gonna be there. I, just, I can feel it. But I just. I did. I just threw him at his friends. Oh yeah, they're some of them shoot shit at you, I forgot. fucking monster. Guess when they get close to you they puke on you or some shit? Okay, we just been to the medical wing. Oh yeah, this ain't horrible. This doesn't look like a place I'm gonna get attacked at all.
This is pretty though. Now oh, these chairs won't move. Open the door! <laughs> Open the door! Oh. So now I can throw bodies, that's great. We discovered the oldest house while investigating a suspected altered world event case in the New York City subway tunnels. The agents found their way up into the building. Once we became aware of it, it was there. For the rest of the population, it was hiding in plain sight. A, a slippery blind spot, seemingly discouraging observation. Hmm. It's a, a place of power. An ongoing AWE of its own, seemingly adhering to its physical outer constraints and yet constantly breaking the known boundaries of reality. It's, it's unstable, shifting. Note, for more details on control points and the research and process to stabilize and secure the core sectors, refer to a separate presentation. After extensive research and investigation, the Bureau made the building its headquarters on November 13th, 1968. Huh. The Federal Bureau of Control was never out in the open. This, this was always an obfuscated, classified top secret operation. So imagine our surprise when the building's observation resistant aspects began in some unquantifiable way to affect the Bureau as a whole. Hmm. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> Take those. Can't get the other thing, huh? Why? Personal mod. It's gonna go bad real quick. P6 is what the Bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. That's not good. Has the Hiss found him? Are you there with him? Can you protect him? Okay, well, that wasn't so bad. Then, let's... <sighs> let's continue this way. Wait, is this a... That's a way into the thingy thing. Really? I gotta go back to the stupid... I don't wanna go there yet. Right, I'll jump! Wait, which way is this? Prime Candidate Program. Okay, well, we've been this way. Definitely not the way it wants us to go. <sighs> I guess we gotta go s click the stupid thing. Wait. Where am I going? Okay, we gotta go this way. I like it or not. That's the way we gotta go. Oh, Jesus! Back to the 
the fucking hotel. Who's screaming? Oh, I don't like this. There's always some weird shit going on here. Everything's fucking upside down. What the fuck, game? Well, I don't think there's sex going on in this room. In this hotel. There's something completely more horrible going on here. I'm not used to... Oh, okay, this door's open. All right. Okay. So we gotta fix the shit in the rooms, apparently. So what's off in this room? Oh, that's all. I just had to get that. I had to do that then. <laughs> Here we go. Frickin here. It's been a long time since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him. What kind of man he'd grow up to be. Were things as hard for him as they were for me. Maybe in here, they were even harder. Security. Okay. Whoa, we got people here. something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. I'm your new boss, bitch! The director? Right. Uh, well, okay. Hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. Not going asking for a tour, Founded just let me by in. Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state of the art repository for all altered I items. I don't have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there. <laughs> It's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV, it's, uh, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't oh, contain shit. it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh... I usually tell first timers not to touch anything, so uh, just do that. Here, I'm gonna touch what I want to. And please, ma'am, call me Fred. Thanks, Langston. Really? Okay, let's talk to you. You hey. probably got shit to tell me. Is the TV back in its box yet? There's no rush or anything. It's just, you know, an ongoing concern. Working at the Bureau. Do you like working at the FBC? Sure. I mean, yeah, the drama's a bit much, but I get better benefits here than I would over at the Postal Service. Ha! <laughs> better health care. That's not to say I don't like my job, ma'am. Been here over 15 years. No one knows the Panopticon collection better than me. I'm, uh, close to them, in a way. I can't tell if that's creepy or normal here. All right, rituals. How do you keep the altered items under control? It depends on the item. Each one has different needs. Ritualistic touches go a long way. Hmm. Singing to them. Did he say singing? the lights three times, that sort of thing. It's not superstition if it works. Object of powers versus altered items. What's the difference between objects of power and altered items? Think of them like storms. Objects of power are like tropical cyclones or hurricanes. 
things for the uneducated. They're big, rare, and scary. Of course, directors can just bind the OOP and become the eye of the storm. Altered items are more like weird thunderstorms. Some may rain frogs, some may rain corn, but hmm. they all rain something. And how does the hiss factor into all that? It's changing them, making them aggressive. Now they're all raining, I don't know, knives. Knife <laughs> rain. Nice metaphor. Knife rain. Did you work closely with Trench? Oh, he spent most of his time with Darling and all of them. The inner circle. Not that <laughs> I care. Trench certainly had his favorites. He did stop in occasionally to scowl and smoke. Did you know the Bureau has a no smoking policy? It does. Just not for Trench. Still, he is the one who put aside funding for the Panopticon. The man did have vision. Uh, okay. How did you get this job? Started as a junior agent because my uncle knew a guy. From there I got put on a desk until an accident left the containment sector severely understaffed. At which point I got bumped up to management. Hmm. Put in a steady eight hours a day for another ten years and voila! Supervisor. I just picked up a gun. <laughs> or a gun picked me. All right, we are done with you. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. It's good. Let's pick this shit up. It's like uh. Better not get blamed for this mess in the next performance with you. I have a cat. The Panopticon. Dylan's close, but that object of power might wreck this place before I find him. Always something. Always something. Fire break, huh? No, oh, let's go back to that real quick. The sound of the, the modem is making it even funnier. 